Hi everybody, uh, welcome to A to Z of Oils. Today we are going to be talking about geranium, which is one of my favorite scents. I love this oil. Geranium is also known as the poor man's rose. So if you do not have rose, you can always reach for your geranium. It smells lovely. So geranium has um, a lot of interesting properties. Um, I'm just going to go through a few real quick. Um, so it can actually help stop bleeding or hemorrhage. So if you have a cut or you cut yourself, um, you can put a drop of geranium on there and will help to to clot so it'll stop the bleeding. Um, cuts and wounds, it's also very regenerative for the skin. So using it on your skin is something that I use um, every day and on my hair. So um, I have a scalp treatment that I use on my hair that's really nourishing and regenerative. Um, and so I will mix that with a few other essential oils and put that in a spray bottle and spray that on my hair, on my scalp for scalp treatment. Um, it is one that I mix in a mix that I use for my skin as well. So it's very, very nourishing um, for your skin. I don't really use it as much in the winter, but in the summertime, I use geranium a lot um, on my skin topically. I also put it, so it's great for um, body odor as well. So I put geranium, um, I do geranium, ylang-ylang, and myrrh. So um, they all smell good, but they're all very nourishing for the skin. So I make my own deodorant. So I put in those three oils and um, there's a video in here that I did about how to make your own deodorant that is so ridiculously easy. It takes less than five minutes um, and it's really, really very effective. But geranium is one of the key ingredients in that. And what I like about that is that for women especially, right? So when we shave our underarms um, and if you're putting a deodorant on, sometimes uh, the natural deodorants have baking soda and stuff in it. And so it can cause your underarms to be a little irritated. Um, what I like about the one that I make is that it's um, not very irritating. It's actually pretty nourishing for most people. And so um, I've just been using that in um, the winter time and you just roll it on and you smell great and um, it's super light and uh, very nourishing for your underarms. So, um, okay, so it's also really great for hormonal balancing as well. So hot flashes, um, you know, if you have a hormonal teenager, that's another great way that you could use this. There are several different oils I would probably mix in with that. Um, but it is also good for hormone balancing and regulation as well. Um, low libido, so this is something I have a little blend. Last year during um, February, we made women's and men's blend, like love blends, we called them. Um, so for man and for woman and for the women, geranium was one of the key ingredients in that. And that was something that you would roll on the inside of your thighs and on um, the inside of your ankles and to help um, increase libido. So um, it can be used lovely for that. And it smells so, so, so good. Um, so dry or oily hair and skin, we already talked about that. Um, moisturizer, right? We talked about putting it on the face and then for emotional balance. So this is a blend. So like I said, I love the smell of geranium, but I do put it in a lot of my, uh, I use it a lot of different ways. And one of the other ways is I have it in my calm slash focus blend that I use, um, every day. And that consists of Intune, Balance, Serenity, a couple drops of Roman Chamomile, Frankincense, Copaiba, Geranium, a dash of Spearmint um, or Wintergreen, and a dash of Wild Orange. It smells so good. Um, that's kind of like my little scent that I came up with. But I use this um, Geranium in there because it does help to balance and calm your mood and emotions. So with all those oils that I mentioned, it's kind of like a powerhouse, um, but you could use geranium individually as well to um, calm and balance your mood and emotions. So um, I love this oil. It smells divine. It's very nourishing. Um, it does wonders for your hormones. So those are just a couple of ways that you can use it. Let's read a little bit about the emotional side of geranium. So geranium is known as the oil of love and trust. 
Geranium restores confidence in the innate goddess or goodness of others and in the world. It facilitates trust, especially when individuals have lost trust in others due to difficult life circumstances. It assists in reestablishing a strong bond to one's mother and father. When there has been loss of trust in relationships, geranium encourages emotional honesty, love, and forgiveness. It fo um, fosters human love and connection. Geranium aids in healing the broken heart. It encourages emotional honesty by facilitating the emergence of grief or pain that has been suppressed. Geranium softens anger and assists in healing emotional wounds. It assists in reopening the heart so that love may flow freely. Geranium could be called the emotional healer. No wonder why I love this oil so much. Um, it's a gentle oil perfect for babies and children. It nurtures the inner child and supports in reparenting this aspect of the self. Individuals who have a difficult time assessing their emotions can be supported by geranium as it leads away from the logical mind and into the warmth of nature and heart. At its root, geranium heals the heart, instills unconditional love, and fosters trust. Okay, so that is why I love this oil. I just explained it in a nutshell. So if you do not have geranium, um, you definitely need to check it out. It's a beautiful, beautiful oil. Um, you know, just scent-wise, it smells divine. Um, but then all the different uh, ways that it can help your emotional um, state and your physical state are um, really pretty interesting. So check it out. And if you want to learn about how to make the deodorant, just go to the search bar in this group and search um, natural deodorant. And it should probably pop up. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hope everyone is staying warm and safe. Talk to you soon.